check out this zero carb pepperoni carnivore pizza. Welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, we are making a carnivore pepperoni pizza with an Alfredo cream sauce. Of course, this is also a keto-friendly recipe. The pizza crust that we're using today is very simple. It's only made out of three ingredients, which is ground chicken, pork rinds, and eggs. So if you are sensitive to dairy, then this could be a good option for you because the base doesn't have cheese. You can, of course, substitute the toppings with any toppings you like. I'm using pepperoni today. Of course, you can use ground chicken, sausages, pork, ground beef, whatever you have on hand. It's a great way to use leftover meat. I personally like this crust because I think it has a great texture. I have tried other keto pizza crusts before, but I find that the almond flour and the coconut flour in them can be a little bit floating. So I just turned my oven on. It's preheating at 375 degrees. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It really allows us to help as many people as possible and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we have a new recipe. So to start off here, I have two small bags of pork rinds. Each of these bags are 70 grams. It turns out to be about two and a half cups when it's fully ground up. So I did test this recipe beforehand and it's exactly about two and a half cups for these two bags. And the hardest part is actually not snacking on them once you've opened them. So I'm just gonna transfer the pork rinds into a slightly bigger bowl. And to that, it's one pound of ground chicken that we're gonna use. Ground chicken works best for this recipe because it's got the most neutral flavor and actually kind of the leanness of it helps balance out the fat that's gonna render out of the pork rinds. One pound of chicken in. And then to that, we're just gonna add five whole eggs. And we're just gonna give that a very good mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated. It smells amazing, it smells like pork rinds. It's got that bacony flavor. Okay, so I have a 12 by 16 baking sheet here that I've just lined with some parchment paper. The parchment paper is very important because it prevents the crust from sticking. If you put it directly onto a pizza pan, it will stick. So just gonna pour it directly onto the pan. And we're just gonna smush this out into a circle and flatten it out to about quarter inch thick. I usually start this process with the spatula and then once it gets to a certain point, I'll just go in with my hands. Okay, so this is going into my 375 degree preheated oven for 30 minutes. Okay, the pizza crust just came out of the oven. It smells amazing, it looks really good. It's developed a nice, beautiful golden brown color. I'm just gonna let this set for 10 to 15 minutes while I make my Alfredo sauce on the stovetop. So let's head over to my stovetop. Okay, so we are making a low carb cream sauce today. I have a small saucepan here that I'm just going to turn on to medium low. Gonna start off with about one to two tablespoons of butter. This is grass-fed butter. You get this from Whole Foods. I don't really measure this part, really. <laughs> Let's say about this much, Is that one tablespoon. And to that, I'm just going to add some chopped garlic. I'm just gonna go with the pre-chopped stuff to make it easy today. 
I'm going to use know, about a teaspoon. If you like garlic, feel free to use more garlic. You can also use garlic powder as well. And I'm just going to let that cook down so that the butter is fully melted, the garlic flavor is infused. Now I'm just going to take about one third cup of heavy whipping cream. This is 33% fat. I'm start with a third of a cup. You don't need a ton for the pizza because the pizza crust is quite, quite rich. I find that this is just about enough to cover a thin layer on the pizza. Let that go for a couple minutes. Basically, we want to get this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer and let the sauce thicken. I'm also going to use a little bit of shredded parm. Start with about one tablespoon. Maybe a little more, maybe two, one and a half to two tablespoons. This is mostly just for flavor, to get that Alfredo-y type of flavor. So I'm just going to let this go, turn up the heat a little bit, let it get to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, reduce the heat down to a simmer. You just be careful to make sure that it doesn't burn. Okay, so the Alfredo sauce was just on the stove top for a couple of minutes and you can see here, it's just developed a nice thickness to it. And we're just gonna pour this on top of the pizza. Now, this is a good amount of sauce for us. I personally don't like too much sauce because I find it to be a little bit overpowering. This is a good amount for us. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a edge so it doesn't get too messy. We are gonna pop this back into the oven under the broiler just so it gets some nice color before we cut into it. And then I'm just going to top off with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and I have two types of pepperoni here. Just a little bit of cheese. So this is an uncured pepperoni that we find at Whole Foods. There are no nitrites in it, which we like, and it is minimally processed compared to other pepperonis. This is a beef pepperoni stick that I've just cut up. So I'm gonna pop this under the broiler for one to two minutes. Just be careful to watch it, make sure it doesn't burn, but we just wanna get a little bit of color and get that cheese melted right on top. Okay, the pizza was under the broiler for two to two and a half minutes. You do have to watch and make sure that it doesn't burn because that can happen very quickly. This smells amazing, looks amazing. I'm so hungry and I am so ready to dig in. I'm gonna cut one slice for myself, starting right here. Alrighty, time for the taste test. Smells amazing. Looks just like a real pizza. I really like the texture that the ground chicken and the pork rinds give. I'm gonna dig right in. Mm, the crust is a little bit spongy. Again, great texture. The pork rinds really give the pizza kind of that bacony, deep bacony flavor, which I think is really enjoyable. The little bits of pepperoni got really crispy in the oven, especially when you pop it underneath the broiler. The Alfredo sauce is very good. It's not overpowering, but you can still taste it. The crust is almost a little bit fluffy. I really like using ground chicken as a base because it's very neutral. 
And actually, the fact that it's not very fatty complements very well with the pork rinds because the pork rinds do have quite a bit of fat. Now, you might have noticed I didn't add any additional seasonings to the crust. Of course, if you want to, you can add things like garlic powder, onion powder, even Italian seasoning, but I personally find that it's not necessary because the pork rinds have quite a bit of salt and that natural bacon flavor already. So to me, this is extremely, extremely flavorful, just as is. With the addition of the cheese and the pepperoni, it kind of just all comes together. Because we also added eggs to the crust, it also makes it a little bit airy, adding to that fluffy texture. Sometimes I find that when you use almond flour or coconut flour, it can be very dense tasting, but I don't really find that it has that like dense, really, really heavy taste when you do it this way. Maybe it's because we ground the pork rinds really fine. You wanna make sure that the pork rinds are really well ground up and it just incorporates really well into the ground chicken. If you liked my video today, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we have a new recipe. Let me know down in the comments below whether you've ever tried low carb pizza before and how you like to make it. Until next time.